All right, so good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Pierre Serkenrader. I'm a solution architect with Interfaceware. And today I'm here to talk to you about a really exciting e-referral project that we've set up uh, with one of our Toronto partners uh, called CareDove. Um, for those of you who don't know, we are the creators of the Iguana integration engine. And we've been in the industry for about 20 years uh, providing integration solutions for our customers. And more recently, we've really been leading the way in developing uh, enterprise production fire interfaces for our customers. In fact, at the last um, fire roundtable at Duke, we were here presenting on our partnership with Kanos Evolve, talking about the fire interfaces that we built for them. And it's actually it's really exciting to see that they're here this year to talk about the next stage of the evolution of, of their products. And for this, part, this project, we partnered with CareDev. Uh, and CareDev essentially creates an online referral management platform uh, that is designed to handle referrals for home care and community services. And CareDev's goal is essentially to become the experts in e-referrals um, with the idea to make access to home care and community services uh, easier, faster, and more reliable for patients. So let's talk about the current problem with referrals. This is essentially what the, what the model looks like. And basically, when a physician has a referral for a patient, the patient now has to go out, um, you know, go home, they have to do all the research on uh, where they can go for this referral, they have to figure out locations that are closest to them, they have to make all the phone calls, they have to book the appointments, uh, the, the physician has to fax the referral to wherever they're going. And it's quite a long process, and it, it takes a lot of work for the patient. And I think that if there's anything that I've learned uh, being involved in digital health, it's that the harder you make something for a patient, the less likely they are to actually do it. Uh, so CareDuff thought, all right, how do we make this easier for the patients to, uh, to book their referral appointments? So they came to us and said, you know, let's, let's see what we can do. And this is the system that we worked out. So in the region where uh, we set up this program, um, the physicians are using a platform, platform called Ocean to handle their appointments. And Ocean uses their own custom API with their own fancy custom data model that doesn't really play well with others. And CareDove luckily uses uh, Fire as their data model to, uh, to move their data. So they needed something that would allow them to connect the CareDev platform uh, to the Ocean API, which is uh, where Iguana came in. So essentially what happens is when the physician has a referral for the patient, all the patient has to do is log into the CareDev portal and they can immediately see all the locations that are, that are near them where they can go for their appointment. And the CareDev portal allows them to uh, immediately see availabilities for appointments and they can actually book the appointment um, through the portal and uh, the appointment will be booked with their, with their you know, referred physician uh, and the confirmation of that appointment booking will get sent back to their physician. So obviously for booking these types of, uh, these types of appointments, there's a lot of different data that we needed. And so these are the, the sort of resources that we, uh, that we use in the system. And there's one um, fire resource that I, didn't that I forgot to include in here, which is the uh, fire bundle resource. And so essentially, as we're trying to move all this data back and forth between physicians and, uh, and patients and the referee, referral physicians, um, the bundle made it a lot easier to support um, encryption of the data and just to support the, the transport as well. Now, there are a couple different challenges that we faced when we were um, building out these, uh, these integrations. And the first of all, the first one being uh, moving between different data models. So, like I mentioned, um, Ocean had their own custom data model with their own uh, custom nomenclature, uh, and CareDove was using uh, Fire DST3. So, we had to make sure that we were accurately um, mapping between the Fire resources and the Ocean data model. And now, this was uh, made a little bit more challenging by the fact that Ocean liked to change their API uh, sort of on the fly sometimes, um, but such is life when you're building interfaces, right? Uh, and the second challenge was making sure that we could keep the data secure. 
Um, so this patient data was being sent over, um, over public networks back and forth between Caridev and Ocean. Um, so you know, keeping that PHI secure was really important. Um, so luckily when we were using um, the bundles, it made the sort of encryption workflow um, quite a bit easier so that we didn't have to worry about trying to encrypt you know, individual resources. We could just sort of encrypt the whole bundle together. So what were the outcomes of this project? Well, number one, we improved the likelihood uh, that the patients were actually going to attend their referral appointments. So like I mentioned, when you make something really difficult for a patient, oftentimes they're just not even going to go to the trouble to book the appointments. So by making the process much easier, uh, they were much more likely to go. Number two, like I said, we improved the speed at which the appointments were made. So by giving the patient all the information they needed all in one location, uh, they're able to book their appointments much, much quicker. Uh, number three, we improved the communication between the referring physicians, uh, the clinics, and the patients. So like I said, the referring physicians now got confirmation that the appointments were made. Um, so they can check back in with their patients, do follow-ups, you know, make sure everything went as planned. And number four, which I think I'm, is the one that I'm most proud of, is that you know, this project combined with all of our past experience has really allowed us to um, evolve the way in which um, we do Firebase integrations and evolve our, uh, our Firebase tooling. And that evolution has sort of culminated in our API designer. And with this API designer, essentially what it, what it does is it allows you to um, easily build and utilize uh, Firebase APIs for integrations. So it allows you to uh, you know, easily expose all of the necessary REST functions for uh, moving Fire resources. And it allows you to uh, set permissions on who's allowed to use your APIs, who can read resources, who can write resources. So it really, um, you know, lets you sort of customize your API access uh, and gives you a lot, of, a lot of different functionality. And when you combine this API designer with the Iguana Translator, uh, it really gives you a very powerful way to uh, build out custom Firebase workflows uh, and then map uh, Fire resources to, say, version 2 or version 3 or CCDA or other data models. And I think that you know, as Fire becomes more and more prevalent in the market, we're really going to be seeing these new Fire interfaces um, working alongside these other you know, V2 or CCDA interfaces. So I think having the, having the ability to um, easily uh, transfer data between different data protocols, I think is going to be extremely important. And Lastly, our API designer also makes it very, very easy for you to build out um, extensions for your fire resources. So like everyone's been talking about, uh, you know, the fire resources are really designed for 80% of workflows. But oftentimes, you know, that 80% really isn't going to exactly match uh, what you need. So using the API designer, it's very straightforward to go through and build out extensions for your resources to uh, exactly match the, the workflows that you have. So if anyone has any questions about um, you know, Interfaceware's uh, API designer or about Iguana, if you're interested in um, CareDev's home care referral platform, uh, we've got a bunch of representatives here that can answer questions for you. And uh, thanks very much for your time. <laughs>